Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday morning. It's January 9th. Say, so, well, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to the Tuesday morning vlog. Uh, for some of you, I know it's coffee time. For some of you, I know it's breakfast time. Um, you know, everyone chooses to watch these at a different time. But I say welcome. Um, we have a bunch of new subscribers. The channel has two sides to it. You know, that one side is that sexy car side that most probably attracts most people to the channel. And, um, you know, we just need to realize over the next seven, eight weeks, it's going to be tough to put a lot of car material out there. It really depends on what the weather allows. Um, it's hard, even if I get out of here at 3 o'clock, 3.30, it's hard for me to get home with any daylight to do any filming. So that's why you see me do it inside the garage from time to time. Um, so I'll give you a, the first thing I want to do is a track hawk update. Uh, the shop called yesterday and said they're running ahead of schedule. So hopefully we'll see that in the next few days. And I'll tell you something funny. Yes, last night at dinner, my wife said, hey, when's the track hawk coming back? And it was really kind of funny because she wants the track hawk back because she wants the Hellcat back out of the house. Because when I fire that bitch up at 4.30 in the morning, uh, I think it wakes her up. And the difference between the track hawk startup and the Hellcat startup is enough to wake her up. So she wants that out of here as well. Um, so throughout this video, you're gonna hear drilling upstairs. If you hadn't had the pleasure of working in a high rise uh, downtown building, um, when they do modifications for electrical conduit and things, they have to bore into the cement between the floors. It's called core drilling. So that's what you get to listen to. It'll stop here in another hour or two, but I don't wanna wait. Um, so a garage update, um, yesterday, I don't know if you heard, I mean, the DC area had a ice storm kind of warning and then as the city just freaked out, um, traffic was a nightmare by two o'clock. The lift crew was trying to get to the garage, turned around, gave up, they're going in today. So we'll have a, hopefully I'll do a garage update for you tonight when I get home. Um, it's really all I have on the general stuff. So guys, let's talk about business. So the two sides of the channel are the car side and this business or life side. These um, these morning vlogs are more about the, the life goals. Um, you know, and hopefully I'm trying to help you guys convert a life dream or a business dream um, through a process into action and into reality. And that's what we're really trying to do. We're trying to take dreams and we're trying to convert them into reality. It doesn't do any good to have dreams if they just stay out there in the dream world. If that's what you want, great. But what I find most people get upset about is they have a dream and they never bring it to fruition. And that's what I'm trying to present here is the process of taking a dream um, or a passion and converting it into reality in your life. And so over the last several weeks, we've had a series of these, this side of the channel. And if you, if you go back and look at the older videos, and at some point I'll have to put some sort of track together, okay? Or some sort of watch list, I get that. Um, but if you look at it, I mean, we talked about connecting, being quiet and connecting and listening and really then taking that and, and discovering what our true passions are and bringing that out, you know, getting, getting cognizant about what is our, what, what do we want to accomplish? What do we want? Um, and then trying to take those passions and align them, align them to our daily, hourly, weekly, monthly actions so that we're in alignment. We're actually walking towards creation of those dreams. And we've talked about pushing the event horizons away, getting things planned out so that we can convert, uh, you know, what could be an emergency due today is just an action item if it's due six months from now. And then doing day planning. Does your day own you or do you own your day? Do you plan out your week? Can you plan out two weeks? Can you plan out a month? Can you plan out a quarter? And then eventually can you see your year? And that's really going towards, we can create, we, we predict our future by creating it. And so just taking us through that process now brings us to one of the last steps and that's decisions. So we go from connections to passions, to alignment, to event horizons, to day planning, to making decisions. And, and then at some point it's got to loop back around and you do this, you know, as you get better at it. But the, what I wanted to talk to you today about was making a decision. Most success in our lives, whether it's in yours or those around you, is based on a decision. Somebody made and then committed to a decision. And whether it be a good marriage, fitness, nutrition, strong finances, um, those are all, somebody made a decision 
to lose weight and then commit to it. Somebody made a decision to be financially independent and then committed to it. Um, you know, we see this is that time of year where everybody, it's almost a joke about, um, you know, New Year's resolutions and this is gonna be the year X. This is the year I'm gonna lose the weight or this is the year I'm gonna run a marathon or this is the year I'm gonna start my business or, you know, this is the year I'm gonna get my shit together, right? And so we say that and then some convert that into a decision to actually do it and then some convert that into an actual commitment and then some actually convert that into action. Some stick to the action and then some see it manifest itself in their life. Those are a lot of sums and it's like a cone, it's a funnel, right? Everybody makes resolutions. Fewer actually make the decision, fewer even commit to it, fewer even that commit to action, fewer of that actually stick to it. And so a tiny portion see it manifest it in their life. And that can be very frustrating. And so I would just ask you to ponder your life's, which you consider successes and which you consider your failures and really go back and look at the decisions that were made or not made, the commitments that were made or not made that stick to it, the, the commitment to it that was done or not. And, um, and really try to move away from failure, I'm a failure, I failed at this, I failed at that, and really make it as a lesson learned and recommit to something. If you wanna reattempt it, you know, let's get serious about it. And so I know a lot of people talk about wanting to start a business or converting their dream or their passion into a business. And so I think um, what, what you see in my life, DHA was a decision. I made a decision and committed to it to run my own business. And um, you know, failure just was not an option. And I did everything I could to, to make it a success. Not everything worked, but you know, we, we, we made a lot of success and we continue to make decisions. So when we, committed to make last year the stabilization year we committed to it every every day you know when we commit to growing we grow when we commit to win something we generally win it at this point point. and you know when i'm my farm i committed to creating a new farm i committed to creating a riding experience that was safe and pleasant for my clients and my family and uh you know, we are coming up on six years now that we've had to maintain that commitment, but we have it now. Now we have to commit to maintaining excellence. And that's another thing a lot of people say, they wanna be great, they wanna be excellent, they wanna be the best, but then don't commit to it and they find out that it's hard. Committing to excellent, being excellent is tough. Um, and I'll tell you, climbing the mountain to the top of excellence is tough. It's even harder to stay on the top. It's hard to stay great. So let's talk about converting. So hopefully if you're following me, you've come through some, you, you understand what your dreams really are. I mean, you really have passion for it. You really want to commit to it. You really want to get some planning done. And, and so the next step would be to make some decisions. And a good example is, can you convert a dream to a hobby? Can you convert the hobby to you know your life someday? Do you really want to do that? Be careful, sometimes we ruin um, dreams and hobbies by making them our, our, um, our way of life. So um, I'll give you an example. My wife is a wizard with cameras. She takes amazing photos. People are always saying, hey, can I have that one? Can I buy it from you? But when we talked about converting it into a business for her, she said it would ruin it for me. I would hate photography if I had tried to make a business out of it. Um, so just be careful that you really wanna do that. But if you wanna do that, one of the first steps I would recommend you consider is creating your LLC. Take this passion, take this thing and create it. You know, make it real. Um, I, I mean, actually form the LLC, create the name, file it with your state. Um, if you do it in Delaware, then file it as a foreign entity in York State. File it with the IRS, get your EIN. Um, start making this thing real. And when you do that, you're gonna to have to file a tax return, even if it's zero, right? It's gonna force you to do some things. So maybe that's not the best idea for you. I'm just giving you one idea of how you can take this dream and actually make a commitment to doing something. 
manifest a company with a name and an EIN and a state code and tax returns, start moving down that road. Maybe buy QuickBooks or maybe buy Quicken. You know, create the accounting structure and start moving. Um, you know, know where you're, you know, that dollar, that, that get your shit speech from, from almost, what, five weeks ago now. You know, start getting your shit together. Um, actually take action now. And so, I mean, that's just, I just wanted to walk you through the progression. So again, get connected, identify your passions, get aligned to them, get your events understood, get your day planned, and start making decisions. Then start committing to them, and then start taking action. Um, once you've done a couple of actions, it does start to build up. It feels good that I'm finally, I'm finally doing something. There's real value in in taking action. We talked a couple of videos ago about action is the antidote for a lot of the poisons we have around us. You know, people who don't believe you or ridicule the idea or that. But you start taking action, it pushes all that away. And sometimes it creates forced action, and, and that's good. I mean, I, I, I'm okay with having to file tax returns or have accountants review it. And you see this. So, so I'm a product of DHA's already running. This farm is already running. I've got a great family in place. I've got a stable home. All those are decisions that we made and were committed to decades ago. And that goes to the momentum conversation we had a couple of videos ago about build up year over year momentum. Um, you know that that is just so important. And now, now you're watching this one for me. You're watching me, not just speak this stuff. Okay, you're watching me try it. D H R D H I God D H R Street Speed is an LLC. It's filed in Delaware. It's cross filed in Maryland. I have a set of, um, I have QuickBooks up and running on it. I've had an accountant review it. You see me just fumbling my way through the videos. Um, you know, some would consider it a little bit of a disaster. You go back and watch the first 20 videos, they're probably a joke. Um, you know, even the ones I'm posting last yesterday, people are still, you know, making comments about, so <laughs> they kind of suck in ways. I mean, I get that, but you, I'm trying to, put what I say out in front of you and you're watching me try to create something and by creating the LLC it has other tax benefits please do none of this on my advice I need you to really look at it. talk talk to a tax attorney talk to a CPA but if you can convert some of your dreams into a hobby and that hobby into an LLC you stand the ability to have tax write-offs so I'm trying to do that with the DHR Street Speed LLC. All the cars I've bought, you know, we've put about 80, 90 grand into the garage. You know, probably looking at half a million dollars, six, seven hundred, it's probably gonna approach 700,000 in 2017. And can I put that into a, a legal tax structure and, and use that as a tax write-off? And, and I think the answer is gonna be yes. Eventually, YouTube will qualify the channel for monetization. Um, eventually, there may be there may be a sponsor. There might be real revenue in 2018. And it will probably never offset what we spend, and it might not ever become profitable. I, I don't know where this is headed. I've told you that a million times, but I've got a general sense of of where some money might come in to make it an actual functioning business. You know, how cool would that be to have a a garage? six seven eight ten beautiful apex hunters in the garage um, and add one or two a year um, and have it be a legal tax structured operating business that that if you show a loss it gets written off on your taxes so that may not convert to what you're trying so again I've always said this to you you have to have the intelligence to to take what I'm doing and convert it, be able to convert it into what you're trying to do, is probably not a one-for-one one fit. And by asking me questions on the you know, for the videos or some of you or email me individual questions, you know, try to do some conversion. But my biggest point today is, if you've walked the steps that we've been walking through in these videos, you are now ready to start putting 
real decisions on the table and committing to them and start taking actions against it. And I can't explain how powerful that is. So gosh, that's really it. Um, I don't have a whole lot else for you on this. In this video, we're up at 15 minutes. I know I'm trying to keep these a little bit shorter. Somebody suggested they should never go over 10. I just can't do that. I'm not ignoring you, but I cannot do this in 10 minutes. So uh, I might lose some uh, viewers or some subscribers. They're not looking for this kind of content, or they're just not, you know, they can't put 15 to 20 minutes in. I get it. Um, you know, I know this channel's not for everybody. I'm not trying to create something that everybody likes. I get it. Um, so I don't want to offend anybody. Um, but some of these things I just can't implement. I just don't know how. So on the video stuff, I know I've got skills to learn. I mean, I've certainly learned how to splice and put subtitles and soundtracks and now time lapse. So now there's slow-mo and then I've got to be able to put voiceovers. I mean, I've still got so much to learn, but we've come a long way in, in the month. So, you know, again, I'll just say at the end, I love this community. I love your interaction. It's, um, it's inspiring. Some of this stuff is landing. I think it's helping people out there. And that is, um, to me, that's the fuel to go on and do it again tomorrow and do it again next week. So the car stuff takes care of itself. I mean, that's self-fulfilling. That's just fun. And to be able to video it and share it, that's awesome. But for these, you know, I need to know it's landing, it's hitting, it's helping you in some way to, to help me to keep going. So I really do appreciate that. Guys, as always, ask questions, make comments. What do you want to see next? What do these? What does this video series start asking or creating inside of you? The, what frustrations? What roadblocks? Um, you know, I'll probably normally. I think you've seen me do it. I'll take questions and answer them here. I'll even take the individual questions. I won't call people out, but I'll answer them here because most of the time when you ask a question, it's pretty meaningful, and I think everybody would benefit. So please have a great Tuesday. Um, stay involved, stay active. Um, let's keep going. Let's take this to the next level of detail. And uh, have a great Tuesday, everybody. Talk to you later.